Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maria from Crochet Fashion and today you will see how to crochet lacy and simple in the same time motif. Also you will see how to join two motifs together in large piece of work using the crochet mesh. For work I will use 1.4 millimeters and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. I will begin from the foundation ring. Make a chain of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. My foundation ring is ready. Let's crochet the first round. For this, make chain of 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3. Yarn over the hook twice, insert the hook into the ring, make treble crochet. I do not finish this stitch and make treble crochet not finish the second time and pull through all loops on the hook. As you can see I remove a long piece of yarn while I am doing my stitches. Then chain of 4 for the chain space 1, 2, 3, 4. Well done. Make a cluster made of three treble crochet. Make the first one. Make the second one. The third one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Chain of four for the chain space. And make a cluster one. Two and three and pull through all loops on the hook. Then chain of four for the chain space one, two, three, four. So keep working in this way till you will get six side chain spaces. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete round 1, insert the hook into the stitch, make a slip stitch. My round 1 is ready. I'm done 6 chain spaces. Work into the chain space, make a slip stitch for the next round. Make chain of 3 to bring up the yarn. Let's crochet round one. Make two double crochet. Then chain of two. Make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Then chain of two. Make three double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, chain of two, and two double crochet. One, two, three, chain of two. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. Let's complete round 2. I did 2 chains. Insert the hook into the 3rd chain stitch, make a slip stitch. My round 2 is ready. Let's crochet round 3. Make chain of 3 to bring up the yarn instead of first double crochet. Insert the hook into the same chain stitch, make double crochet. Yarn over the hook, make double crochet through the next stitch and double crochet twice through the next stitch. Here what I have. Continue, chain of two. 
make double crochet into the double crochet then make the second double crochet through the same stitch then double crochet through the next stitch and double crochet twice through the next stitch chain of two keep working in this way till the end of this round then i will show you how to complete it let's complete round four insert the hook into the third chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch begin round four i'm about to complete this round make chain of three tubing of the yarn make double crochet into the each stitch of the previous round one two three and four then chain of five for the chain space one two three four five yarn over the hook and make double crochet in a row let's count them one two three four five chain of five for the chain space and five double crochet in a row one and so on keep working in this way till the end of this round then i will show you how to complete it let's complete round four instead of last chain space i'm making chain of two yarn over the hook and double crochet into the one two into the third chain stitch here how my double crochet looks like instead of last chain space it is going to be round five make chain of three to bring up the yarn one two three instead of first double crochet then chain of two for the chain space yarn over the hook and double crochet into the chain space well done then chain of five for the chain space one two three four five yarn over the hook insert the hook into the double crochet make double crochet not finish continue make the second double crochet not finish and the third one double crochet not finish the fourth one not finish and the fifth one then yarn over pull through loops on the hook chain of five for the chain space one two three four five insert the hook into the chain space make single crochet one two three four five yarn over the hook and make five double crochet degrees make the first one not finish the second one three four five pull through loops on the hook one two three four five make double crochet chain of two and double crochet into the same chain space chain of five for the chain space one two three four five and double crochet five degrees one two three four 
five, pull through loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Make single crochet into the chain space. Then chain of five and so on. I'm going to work with decreases. You should alternate with single crochet and double crochet plus chain space. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete round 5. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round 6. Make a slip stitch into the chain space. Chain of 3 to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook and double crochet into the same chain space. Chain of two and two double crochet into the same chain space one and two. Then chain of five for the chain space one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet one, two, three, four, five and single crochet one two three four five and single crochet into the chain space one two three four five and single crochet into the chain space one two three four five and double crochet into the next chain space. Make the second double crochet into the same chain space, chain of two, and double crochet twice into the same chain space. One, two. As you remember, at the beginning of this row, I did chain of three instead of first stitch, and then you should repeat this sequence. Double crochet twice, chain space and double crochet twice. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete round 6. I chained the last one, insert the hook into the third chain stitch, make a slip stitch. My round is ready. Let's crochet round 7. It is going to be round 7. Let's stop and look here what I have. Insert the hook into the stitch, make a slip stitch. I'm making some slip stitches for the beginning and slip stitch one more time into the chain space. Chain of 3 to bring up the yarn. And double crochet into the chain space, then chain of two, and double crochet twice into the same chain space. One, two. Chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet. Chain of 5 for the chain space and single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and single crochet. Chain of 5 and single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and single crochet. Then chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Make double crochet twice into the two chain space. Chain of two 
and double crochet twice into the same chain space. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round with me. I'm about complete round 7. Once I have done chain space, insert the hook into the third chain stitch, make a slip stitch. Round 7 is ready. Let's crochet round 8. Insert the hook into the stitch, make a slip stitch, then slip stitch into the chain space, chain of 3 to bring up the yarn, instead of first stitch, then double crochet into the chain space, chain of 2 and double crochet twice into the same chain space for the corner. I'm working the same way as I did in the previous round. So make chain of 5 for the chain space and single crochet. Chain of 5 for the chain space and make single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and single crochet. Chain of 5 and single crochet chain of five one two three four five and single crochet one two three four five and single crochet and one more time one two three four five single crochet and right now I need to crochet corner one, two, three, four, five. Double crochet twice into the next chain space. Chain of two and double crochet twice. So my first side is ready, so keep working in this way till the end of this round and I will show you how to complete this round with me. Once I have done the last chain space, it was round 8, work with a slip stitch into the third chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Let's crochet round 9, make some slip stitches for the new round make slip stitch then slip stitch into the chain space chain of three to bring up the yarn one two three make double crochet for the corner then chain of five for the chain space one two three four five double crochet twice into the same chain space one two As I did before, chain of 5 for the chain space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and single crochet 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 one two three four five 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 make double crochet twice chain of five for the chain space one two three four five and double crochet twice one 
in two. So one side is ready. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. Let's complete round nine. As I did before, insert the hook into the third chain stitch, make a slip stitch, pull a little bit. To secure the yarn by making a chain, it was last round and my motif is ready here how it looks when you are done. It is very simple and lazy in the same time. And next time I will show you how to join such motifs together in large piece of work to create doily, table clothes or another accessories for home. And while making the last round of the second motif, I will show you how to join to another's. You will see it how to join step by step. Let's look at these two motifs. One of them is completed and another one I didn't complete yet. I just need to crochet the last round in my current motif. And now I show you how to join my motifs together while crocheting the last round. So for my joining I will use chain spaces and single crochet. So I will start from this side and continue working with my current motif. I turn the work and let's get started joining. I have done double crochet twice. So let's crochet my pattern. Make according to my pattern I need to crochet five chain space instead of my chain space. I'm making chain of two instead of third chain stitch make single crochet I take my ready motif from the back I will join to this chain space my chain space consists of five chains I insert the hook into the middle chain stitch one, two, three. This is the third one. Make single crochet. Chain of two. And make double crochet twice into the same chain space. One and two. Chain of two. Instead of 5 chain space, I'm making chain of 2 and let's crochet the joining. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. Chain of 2 and single crochet. Then chain of 2 and single crochet into the completed motif. chain of two and single crochet chain of two and single crochet as you can see i put their backs together make chain of two and to work on my current motif make single crochet then chain of two and single crochet into the chain space. Chain of two and single crochet into the chain space. Chain of two and single crochet into the chain space. Chain of two and single crochet into the chain space of the current motif. Chain of two. Chain of two and single crochet chain of two and single crochet chain of two and single crochet chain of two work into the chain space 
make single crochet, chain of two, yarn over the hook and make double crochet twice. Here is my motif that I am working on. Make double crochet, make the second double crochet. Instead of five chain space, make chain of two. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch of this chain space. Make single crochet. Then continue working chain of two. And single and double crochet twice into the same chain space. Let's stop and look at my mesh. And let's stop and look what I have done. As you can see, I am joining my two motifs using the mesh. Then I need to complete my current motif. And so on. So that's it, my project is ready. Here how it looks when you are done. For work, I used a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. This is the very simple and lacy in the same time project. You just need to know how to crochet chain spaces, double crochet, treble crochet, and decreases or increases. This is the basic skills. I remind you, you can use such motifs to create blanket or clothes or another accessories for home you can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook to create your own project see you next time thank you so much for watching please write comment below this video what you will get with me and with my another video tutorials bye and good luck in crocheting